connection. Okay. Let's try this out. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique. And before we get into today's Kickstarter critique, I'm very excited about today's Kickstarter critique. I want to talk about some few show notes. First and foremost, big shout out to Little J Games who entered in the Twitter contest and they won a Kickstarter critique. I sent them a message, so I'm excited to see what they want me to check out. And also, uh, I am really going to be making sure that this hopefully streams and it doesn't look super choppy. As you can see right now, it says excellent connection. So I'm hoping that is the case, but let's get into it and if it's not the case then i will get it fixed uh hopefully in the very near future but today i'm really excited to be checking out the most powerful three-in-one 3d diy printer ever the xy3 se which is a terrible name by the way uh but I, just as a board gamer if you if you have any 3d printed box inserts you know exactly what i'm talking about they're amazing back when i went to college uh they had a 3d printer and i spent part of my money to start 3d 3d printing like box inserts and oh it's just it's a whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. And so this is the most, power three, most powerful three-in-one printer. It looks like it could fit right on your gaming table. It has already raised 1.9 million Hong Kong, which looks a lot less impressive when you convert it to U.S. dollars, but still $255,000. And here's my first tip that I would give you. For God's sake, change the name of it. It's And it's not just because the name is boring and forgettable, which I think most people would agree it is, but it's also the fact that it makes it much more difficult to search for, especially because you put the little dash in the middle. So when I was trying to just type in to go directly to this Kickstarter page earlier, I had a hard time because I typed it and there was like a space or I didn't have the dash. So just that name itself, just call it the Printosaurus, you know, whatever, something distinctive, unique, different, easy to search for. Uh, and I think this would probably be a million dollars, to be honest with you. But then again, there might be some red flags we haven't even seen yet. Let's check it out. All right. Ooh. Oh, 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 Okay, too fast. Too fast. This is too fast. I wanted to actually read that stuff. Assemble in five minutes. That's spectacular. Then I see there's like this fancy, fancy glass, but let's see how many seconds that actually is up there. Latest glass. High fast. Like, I'm a pretty fast reader there, and I got to the very last word, but I didn't even have time for my brain to really compartmentalize what it was saying. So I feel like that is just a smidge bit too fast. Uh, but let me know what you think about that in the comments. All right. You punk it. No! Oh! Wait, this is so fast, I can't read it! And I'm a fast reader! What the heck? I, do, I never have this problem. It's always the other way. My wife yells at me. She says, slow down. You're going too fast when I'm reading. Um, because, you know, she'll be, we'll be on Netflix, like, trying to read whatever the titles are. Latest glass, the high flatness, easy access to models, strong and durable. Cool. No more wired cables, 3 OP, single line, plug in, done. Um, I guess if you know more about 3D printers, this is probably incredibly uh, appealing no more wired cables. Plug in, done. I feel like plug in, done, you know, you should really be. I don't know. This is hard. Who's it marketed to? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so I think they're trying to speed us through so they can get to this. I also like the fact that they really have that, that nice display in the back. Say, oh, you can print a whole variety of different colors. It looks like it's easy to replace it. I like what they're showing me here. It's just slow down. Oh. Oh. 
So I'm a little bit torn on this video. They're showing us a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of words popping up at us. Um, and it feels like they're really trying to straddle the line between saying enough jargon that it's going to appeal to people who really know about 3D printing. Uh, but they're also throwing in so many different ways to say, hey, 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 you know, this is uh, this is easy to use as well. So everybody can get into it. And I don't know if they got the easy to use across as much. And I, I wonder if it's even possible to do that, because I feel like when you start talking about all that mumbo jumbo, it just becomes so hard to get into it. Like, think about when you talk to a non board gamer about board games. Like if you just start talking about, oh, it's got, you know, it's, it's a tableau builder uh, and it's a drafting game. Like it's just like way over their head. You know, it's like, oh, no, it's, you're just going to bu be building this little thing in front of you and you get to pick the cards that you want. You look at a bunch, you pick exactly what you want. You got to kind of dumb it down for people. And I wonder if this video is dumbing it down enough for that mass market, which I imagine they're trying to scoop up here. Because I personally, I'd 3D printed, but that was that was completely, <laughs> I, did, I had, I did nothing. It was all the guy that was helping run the lab. Uh, and I, I just feel a little bit overwhelmed by everything you're throwing at me here. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're not a 3D printer fan, is this a little bit too much? Whoa. Whoa. Is he reading a book about cereal? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> wow. Dual color printing. Print with something. It's so fast. Print with more colors and trigger your creativity thoroughly. Cre your <laughs> that sounds weird to me. Print with more colors and trigger your creativity thoroughly. I don't know. Is that is that proper English? Maybe. It just sounds weird. But man, that's cool. Okay, so right now, I feel like the video is okay. I don't think it's a great video. I don't even think that, honestly, is a good video. I don't... It The text was too fast. I mean, it was... They feel it. They put so much stuff into it, too. Like, they, they probably talked about 50 separate aspects of the printer in a two-minute span. That's a lot of reading, especially if the reading's fast. I, I don't know. I don't know if that was the way to go with the video. Um, you know, and I see 2.5 million and that's, that's our two, uh, quarter of a million. Let me, sorry. Uh, and that's 650 backers too. I just, I, I feel like this, uh, yeah, cause I looked at the laser packer. I've looked at quite a few other techie things and, and this one, it just underwhelmed me a little bit. Uh, 49 days to go, 650 backers, $255,000. Ooh, first created zero backed first red flag. Um, so Hong Kong, Hong Kong, you know, and then I see first created zero backed and I say, Ooh, I feel a real disconnect from this Kickstarter. Not to mention when I watched the video, like no one talked to me. It was like, Hey, check out this printer. It does this stuff. Whereas, uh, you know, I watched, uh, what was it? The, the 3d, that was the hologram. That's not really a hologram as I've been told one. And it was like, I was like, Oh yeah, I've been just doing this for years. And it's a passion of mine. I just, it felt like there was more heart in this. And if you're not going to have heart in your Kickstarter, you got to have something. I, what was it? I watched like the, the one with the goggles. It was like 3d goggles that looked like it was from mass effect. It was amazing. And it was like a huge screen. You could do Facebook on it. You do work on it. And that didn't have the personal touch, but it was just so well polished and amazing and spectacular and gave me a a glimpse of the future and i'm sure this is a glimpse of the future this could be the 3d printer that brings the 3d printer into the regular household because that's eventually going to happen we got to realize that 3d printing is eventually going to be something that everyone is doing maybe that's in 50 years but it's going to eventually happen and the first printer that really is able to be uh how successful it's just going to send make billions upon billions of dollars and this could be it but i i have a hard time seeing it with that video uh so here's a pro tip for you go out back 25 kickstarters right now for one dollar it'll cost you 25 bucks and all of a sudden sleek diy looks like a member of the kickstarter community and not you know just some random people who decided to try and use it to make money you know and that i feel like that does go a long way so story featured in okay so this is this is what i like to see i like how they get down to it first you know because the video 
The video was underwhelming, but it intrigued me. And, it, you know, everybody's interested in 3D printing. So I like the fact that, like, this is a real thing. People have used this. People that maybe you know. Because let's see how many subscribers are on this YouTube channel right here. Uh, 290,000 subscribers. That's what I thought. So this this is an impressive. This is like if we saw a board game and uh, the Game Boy Geek did it. Uh, and we're like, oh, Dan King said something about it. Okay, now I know this is real. They're not just going to run off my money. So I like that they put this here. Let's see what this actually is. The most powerful 3-in-1 3D DIY printer. Is this just a preview video? Once again, where is the... Where's the talking? <laughs> I want someone to talk to me. No one will talk to me on this Kickstarter page. Okay. A powerful advanced HDMI touchscreen. Now that was hot. Like that thing. Whew, I, I love that. Um... So I'm really interested in how this is laid out. So this is pretty much just another preview video. So it's kind of like they just went from a video about it to another video about it to a picture to telling me more about it and about the touch screen. Okay, and then you tell, you're telling me more about the features here. I still don't know the price. I still don't know your company's story. I still don't know if this is your first printer ever. I know nothing. I know nothing about this all-in-one structure. And then, then I think I've, I think I've pinpointed what I don't like about this Kickstarter. It feels much more just like an ad. It has no personality, has no soul. It has, and you can get away with that, but you gotta have glitz and glamour. And I don't know if this has the glitz and glamour. Powerful Titan extruder, all in one structure. You know, now we're getting to things. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I think this is aimed primarily at people who are 3D printing enthusiasts now after i've gone and looked through just the first bit that's and if i'm not a 3d print enthusiast i'm not interested i think most people are going to feel that way because and you have made most people feel that way with how you've structured this kickstarter page and that's how crazy it is to really you know to put so much time and effort into your kickstarter page because you know, had you put a different video that it's like talking more about how just, oh, anybody can do it. You know, we have files online that you can do and you can make your own stuff and doing this is easy. Replacing, you know, the strings and the color, it's all super simple. But if I'm not already a 3D print enthusiast, I don't think you're getting to this point. The DuPont cable. <laughs> like you're just literally, this is the greatest hits compilation of your first video. So you show me a video and then you show me a video by someone else with still no talking. And now you're just showing me a greatest hits with maybe a little bit more information about the video that I already watched. And I don't want this. I don't want any of this. Now that being said, if I'm a diehard 3D printing enthusiast, yes. I'm all about it. Oh, the Intel, you got the noise-free controller board? Mine's so loud. The power-off protection, that's great. Material runoff detection. Once again, this is all stuff I think was mentioned in the video, and we still haven't gotten to a price. So at this point, you have put a two-minute video, a four-minute video, you've rehashed everything you've talked about, and I still don't know the important aspect. When is this shipping? How much does it cost? Uh, just get down to business, and there you go. The fact that it's a $250,000 is great. That tells me that people who like 3D printers are absolutely loving what they're seeing here. But for everybody else, it's just not enough. It's just not enough in my opinion. Uh, rewards. There we go. Get down to the rewards. $289. That's, that's not... Oh, that's gone? Is that gone? Did you just take it away? What is this? 319 Yes, you got that away. So, you know what? Get rid of this then. <laughs> Why is that still there? Yeah, get rid of that. If it's, if it's not something people can get, get rid of it. Let's see. The launch day special. Same thing. Is this... Because this this was... I, I This was launched last week. So what is... What pledge level is this? The US 3... So the 319... Yeah, you can get rid of that. Like, it's right there. The $319. Like, there's a lot of stuff on this Kickstarter that just... It's just little things, little tweaks here and there that I think would make it better. Uh, March 2021. That's great. Yes, this... Why did I have to get all the way to this point to know that? Like, if this is gonna be here in March, that is three months away. Get me excited about this pretty printer. You know, maybe I got... You know, maybe I, I didn't even buy myself a Christmas present. Now I want to splurge on myself. Let me do that, but I need to know that this is not gonna be coming out next year in, like, December for under the Christmas tree, but March. That's good stuff to know. I totally put that up there. Um, so what's the regular price? These are all launch day specials. What is this? Why do you have nothing but launch day specials? Get rid of this section. Why? Ah! I know it's the holidays. That, that could be it. Uh, it could be it. Could definitely be it. But still, 
No, no, you know what? No, I'm not going to accept that excuse. Excuse. If you are if you're have a $250,000 Kickstarter, you know, I, I just feel like you should be a little bit more on the ball for your people. All right, add-ons, cool, whatever. More stuff, like once again, how to pledge slash add-on shipping. There we go. Click the green button on the right, uh, bottom right of the page, $280, whatever. Shipping fees, there we go. After the campaign ends, we will send out a survey to collect your shipping information. Shipping to United States, $35. I feel like that is perfectly reasonable for a 3D printer. Uh, that's for the United States, Hong Kong, Taiwan. Those are three interesting ones right there put together. You don't see those three typically too often in the shipping category. Europe, United Kingdom, Japan, Korea, Singapore, $50. Once again, not that unreasonable. Canada, you shut your mouth, Canada. I like the fact it cost me $35 to get it to Alaska, but Canada, you're paying an extra 25 bucks. <laughs> Oh, okay. Australia, $60. Other countries and regions, $200. Yeah, they know that that, that, that that still might be cheap for some areas. The team. We are Sleek DIY. Since the establishment of the company, the Sleek DIY team, when was the establishment of the company? That would be good to know. Has always believed in the power of creativity and inspired the development of the business with this belief. We want to grow with the maker community. Hopefully, many of you can find gadgets and solutions here for your creative work. Visit our website or sign up for our newsletter for more. I am curious. From previous Troncy 3D printers, why is this down here? No! This is a warm security blanket. But here's the thing. By this point, people have already gone back into the cold. You know? Show me this already. Show me every... Look! No, 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 no. This needs to be so much higher. This needs to be near the top. Smack dab. Get rid of you rehashing the video. Show me that you know how to make 3D printers and that this is you fine-tuning and perfecting your craft. Heck, in this video, the first two minutes of that video was just some actor that you hired to say, you know, here at, at uh, whatever, Troxy, we have been working on fine-tuning and perfecting the 3d printer to bring it into reality and into your living room or kitchen or gaming table or wherever you choose to use it because it has a handle it is easy to use it is user friendly and it has all these 50 features that you showed off in the video but this is uh, everything about this kickstarter is not new 3d printer friendly i believe and I feel like that is the biggest issue that I have with this. And I swear, I bet this would be a million dollars as opposed to $250,000 if they really went for that market. Because how many people out there have the money and are saying, okay, $400, I splurge, you know, worst case scenario, it stays in the box and never even touch it. But, but you can... Ugh, I just, I, 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 it's so frustrating this kickstarter is just frustrating to me xy3 is the result of hard work from both teams together we drew a blueprint a 3d printer for everyone giving ourselves and the world a gift no matter where and when so there you go that's pretty much what i just said but put it up higher no one's getting down here no one except for me is getting down here the original design of the xy3 sc our factory yeah this is great stuff because that doesn't even look they're wearing uniforms there's a bra on they're clean they're in chairs because when you see they have country and, and what i'm saying here is we have all seen the shots that look like they're inside a factory and it's like oh god i would never want to work there this looks this looks like a normal typical workplace the chairs are a bit odd but whatever this is the kind of thing i want you, you need to be showcasing earlier all this stuff is great interweave you know interweave this thing into your video about your host so passionate about it but it shouldn't be down here next to risks and challenges it just shouldn't so Man, this is this is this is quite a Kickstarter. Two hundred and fifty-five thousand dollars, two updates, and it's been going for I believe over a week. February, and it's going for a long time, forty-nine days. Check out the comments. Thirty comments. How can I tell you which products were added to the add-on? How can I tell you which? Okay, is the laser powerful enough to cut materials? Hi, is it laser kit will only be able to engrave, not to cut. Uh, yeah cool looks like they're on the ball six days six days yeah they're here pretty frequently i like it look at this that's a big lengthy questions look so this is what i'm talking about these are the super baggers these are the people who are, look like he's probably hardcore into 3d printing and i feel like this is going to appeal to them but not to me 
What commercial software is fully compatible with this printer? Yeah, look at that. Six separate individual questions. Bam, 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 bam. And there you go. You've got someone who's invested in your printer. Time X Machina. Awesome. Awesome. This was on Christmas. They responded back on Christmas. This is great. Uh, that response wasn't on Christmas, but still, you get what I'm saying. This is good. You have everything you potentially need here. Um, I, I just think, you know, it's just not user-friendly enough. Take your money today. What? <laughs> Uh, dear XY3SE 3D printed backers, over 200K funded with 600 plus backers. We're overwhelmed by your great love and support for us. Guys, thanks a million. To give back to this awesome community, we decided to release a sweet 10% back cash back referral program for you. Take your money today. Uh, to help us spread the word and earn your money at the same time, what you need to do is easy and quick. This is interesting. I is this is this okay? I don't know if you this. It almost seems sketchy, but it's not. I mean, they're just trying to drive business, I guess. How to get rolling? Click the button and register as a booster. Share your unique booster link on your Facebook, Twitter, blog, website, or wherever you'd like. Oh my gosh, I should do this. Refer to your Kick Booster dashboard and watch your commissions roll in. What is this? Is this a program? Oh my gosh, should I be doing this on these Kickstarter critiques? Well, it looks like I've got some homework to do after this uh wow that's that's an interesting update though that tells me that the this is not going quite as they had hoped and i and i firmly believe that because we checked out the laser pecker 2 uh last week and it was amazing i think it was well over a million dollars if i recall correctly and it looks like it it uh it was it was an engraver as well but it didn't 3d print and it was it was doing much better. It had a very distinctive name. I thought like they handled their business a little bit better. And what they did was they talked all about the Laser Pecker 1, like right from the jump. They were like, hey, this is what we did. We know how we're doing. This is going to be spectacular and amazing. Go check it out. Here's a warm security blanket. Whereas Tronix put, put it all the way at the bottom. And I, and I feel like that was ill-advised. But there you go. That was my long-winded, loquacious look at the most powerful 3-in-1 3D DIY printer ever, XY3SE. You know what? They're being loquacious, so will I. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And I sincerely hope this was not laggy. Excellent connection. Should be fine, right? Warning, the seems current print grade is lower than you. No! We recommend it. Oh, well, I love you for following. Goodbye. I will hopefully fix this.